Well, good morning, warriors. I'm out here with the newbies now, and I want to just show you around a little bit. Now, we have this donkey separated because um, it looks like they were just recently gilded and not too good of a, a job at that. So what we're doing is that I got antibiotics and some electrolytes and some butte that I'm giving them. And I'm giving it to them in that supplement right there on top of their hay. We're going to see if they eat it before we stress them out and put it in the chute. If they don't eat it, then Jim and I will go ahead and put them in the chute and we will give it to them orally. But trying to make sure that we don't stress them out anymore that they've already been stressed out and that they will eat their supplements. Now this little guy has the same issue, as you can tell. Just gelded and not to give a job. He's pretty swollen. And so I've been giving him alfalfa with his um, supplements on it, with his antibiotics and stuff, and he's been eating it. So I kind of disturbed him just now, so I'll back off and let him go back to it. There he goes, back to eating it again. He just didn't want me to disturb him. So they'll be on the mend. We will get them um, back to normal. And we are keeping them out in the paddock because... Um, that way they can move around. The more they move around after they've been gelded, the better chance they have. They don't swell up. Flies don't get to them. It's a bad time of year to geld anything. However, they did do it, and um, it's a good thing that they're gelded, but not the way it was done. So therefore, uh, we're trying to fix them up. And here is a bay gelding. We feel he's probably close to a year. Uh, he looks to be in okay shape. And uh, he's in good weight. Doesn't have any colds or anything. He has a nice kind eye. Don't you, buddy? Since we kept calling him Buddy, I guess that name stuck. So Buddy is his name. Well, this is a paint mare, and um, unfortunately, we found out this morning that uh, she was pregnant and just lost a baby. Not a good thing. Oh my gosh, you know, losing a baby for any species, being it human or, or animal, is just a devastating, devastating thing. And this poor thing, she must have just been so stressed out from everything she went through that she lost her baby. And so uh, we feel sorry for her. So this mare's name is going to be Rachel. Um, Rachel lost her son. She's from the Bible and she lost her son. And it was just devastating for her. So um, I know that it's God's way of protecting this mare, but she did lose her baby, and it looks like she had been pregnant once before. She has some teats. So I don't know. I feel sorry for her, but, um, you know, her baby's in a better place, and she will be cared for now. Rachel will go on to become a great horse for someone. Won't you, Rachel? I'm sorry. Okay, this poor guy right here. I'm gonna name him Tucker. Look at his poor mane right here. Oh my gosh, that's so bad. And look how thin he is. He's super friendly though, aren't you, Tucker? We're gonna get you all cleaned up today. We're gonna get your eyes cleaned out. We're gonna get, um, Thing and we're gonna get you some good food. He's not very old. From what we can tell, he's like probably 10. So that's a good thing and he's super friendly. 
So we'll go ahead and get him all cleaned up and get his feet done. His feet are in bad shape too, huh? Boy, yeah. <laughs> we have a little block filly here. Her name is gonna be Beauty. Uh, Black Beauty, someone requested that I name her Black Beauty. So she's gonna be Black Beauty. She's got a um, hurt knee, but it looks like it was like just recently done, it's bumped. So we're giving her some butte for it, hoping that it goes down a little bit. It's just on the side. Um, she picks up her feet when she walks. It's funny. She likes to get in the water, everybody. Miss Black Beauty is a water fanatic. So whenever she gets adopted, I hope that she gets to go to a home that has uh, a big water source because she likes to have to be in the water. She loves to play in it. <laughs> oh, Beauty. We have this one right here. This is a... He's like a dun gelding, and he looks to be in pretty good shape. Um, and we have named him Thomas. We have a bay filly here. Her name, I've named her Sarah. Sarah, yeah. And Sarah looks to be in pretty good shape. Um, she might be pregnant too, for all I know, because she looks so good. I am not quite sure if she's pregnant or not. We figure she's probably about five years old. And I haven't been in there to mess with her yet to see if she likes to be touched. So let's go find out. Hey, Sarah, what are you doing? Do you like people? Come on, Sarah. Do you like people? Hi, what are you doing? So much so? I'll have to work on that. I'll have to get her some treats. Let's see if she'll start coming up to him. Hey, Sarah. I know she's like joined at the hip with Rachel right now. I can't understand why they're separated, but it was for the best, huh, Sarah? Yeah. It's for the best. Okay, so we have Eve here. And Eve is about five to six years old. And look what happened to Eve. Oh my gosh, look at that. Looks like it was ripped off. Her skin was literally ripped off. So I had the vet look at it and she says it's good though. And the skin will just eventually fall off and she's good. She's not lame, she's not swollen on it. So that's a good thing. Huh, Eve? Is that a good thing? Yeah. You're a pretty girl, huh? Eve doesn't really like to be handled too much. But that's okay. Um, but she's going to be in a little bit of a rehab for a little bit. Wow, she's getting that taken care of. But otherwise, Eve looks like she can be a nice little horse. Last but not least, we have an Abby mare here. She is in really bad shape, just as bad as Tucker. I have named her Angel. Oh, poor sweet Angel. So, from what we can tell, she either got separated from her baby or lost a baby because... Um, she still has milk. Let's see if you can see it. Yep, she still has milk. So we don't know exactly what happened to Angel. We never know the true story behind anything or what goes on. Um, but we do know that she's here now and safe. Um, she's super skinny. Oh, Angel. With every buyout, we must remember that we have either saved the horses from going from auction to auction or from being rounded up and their parents being shipped off to slaughter. 
A buyout is a very important part of rescue. It saves horses from entering into the slaughter pipeline and giving them a second chance in life.